OK, joined by Neve McAvoy ahead of the All-Ireland Ladies Football Final against me this weekend. Neve, it's your ninth All-Ireland Football Final this weekend. An incredible record, really. Um, so you've plenty of experience when it comes to All-Ireland Final Week. What is All-Ireland Final Week like for yourself? Um, yeah, listen, it's just like it's such a privilege to every year to get to this, this stage of the season. Now I was involved with the team plenty of times when we didn't kind of get past the quarterfinal stage. So I know what that feels like as well. And I certainly know that this is a privilege. Um, even saying that I'm making myself feel old I'm like oh I was in nine All-Ireland finals but I also lost in some other seasons as well so I'm like oh god I'm old but um yeah listen a bit more used to it now than I would have been say in 2010 when I was 20 or even 2014 when we had that run of losses in the quarterfinal so um I think we've been we've been lucky very lucky as a group that we've a lot of experience on the the biggest day of the year and and um, we kind of know what to expect and um we can kind of train and train and put all our focuses towards being ready for that so I guess plenty of excitement around the camp as well over the past few weeks since the All-Ireland semi-final do nerves kind of build as the as the day approaches over the last you know week or so as, as, as the game approaches can you kind of feel the nerves approaching or is that something that you kind of try and try and block out a small bit uh, no you know like nervous excitement's kind of welcome you know what I mean this time of the year is is to be enjoyed and um, obviously it's very serious but when you get to a stage where you're definitely going to be on the podium you're going to be first or second you know there's always going to be that nervous excitement and um, Mick would encourage us to enjoy it but um, like it's brilliant and as I said such a privilege to, to still be here so even though there's great competition for places everybody's just doing their best to enjoy it and recognise um, that this isn't going to be around forever and that we just have to kind of grab the ball by the horns. It's been a very strange year for obvious reasons. We were uh, out of action. Everybody was out of action for a few months at the start of the start of the year, and maybe a bit more compacted of a of a season than we than we're used to. How do you feel you've done as a team this year, and have, have maybe grown as a team over the past few games? Yeah, I just I think um, this is one of the strongest panels I've certainly been involved in. You know, it reminds me of the panel uh, I was involved in when we won in twenty ten. You know, there was youth coming through I was one of the younger players at the time and we would have been really pushing the older players for spots and it might feel I feel like I've gone full circle where I'm seeing younger girls coming up and they're full of energy and so talented and I think we've amazing strength and depth both in the forwards and the backs and there's like even so many options in midfield this year which is is unusual and um, so listen it's it's a great group and it's so nice to be involved and to kind of think of my own arc and how, where I've come since 2010 but then also look at the girls who are coming in and getting their kind of first taste of all Ireland final football so listen it's just really really nice for me to to be here and be taking it in and looking at other people's journeys and things as well so um, I guess that you mentioned the blend of youth and experience and I guess that's been a, a key part of this team especially over the last couple of years we've seen a lot of kind of youth maybe brought in to the team again to kind of push yourselves on push everybody on on the, on the full panel as well a big strength in this panel over the past couple of years yeah absolutely you know um, Mick has done a great job of kind of nurturing younger players as they come in we were also lucky that we got some girls back who when they were younger went off to other sports we got Siobhan Clean back a couple of years ago Siobhan Clean's playing the football of her life you know she's a serious score and threat and then obviously this year we got Hannah Tyrrell back from, from rugby and she she's an amazing threat as well but um, no the, the younger kids have been really really impressive you know Kate Sullivan from my own club she's one of the most talented footballers I've ever seen and then you've got the likes of Neve Heatherington, Keeve O'Connor, Jen Dunn like they're just all serious athletes and have good kind of game sense probably better than what we would have had when we were younger because they're around this group so long and they're around Mick so long that you know it just yeah it bodes well for 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 the future I think yeah um from an all-Ireland final point of view you're kind of maybe not used to facing Meath uh, in the championship over the past few years for obvious reasons what sort of challenge can you expect from Meath in the all-Ireland final uh listen Meath are an extremely formidable team um you know I would have seen um, Armagh as a massive threat to us this year. I think they're um, a really good scoring team. Um, they're re they play a really nice attacking game and Meads beat them and beat them well. And then obviously um, we've had an absolutely amazing rivalry um, with Cork over the last number of years. It's it's literally the biggest rivalry our, our game has ever seen, I think. And Meads did one over on them as well. So, you know, there's a bit of... Um, you know it's unexpected we don't really know what to expect from them but going on off their last two performances we know that they're an absolutely stellar side so we won't be taking anything for granted
And finally, uh, we've seen, again, I mentioned already this year, the fact that it's been a bit of a strange year. And one of the, I guess, positives of the year has been the fact that we've seen crowds come back into, into grounds. And uh, you're, I'm sure you're delighted to see your, your friends and your family and supporters in grounds over the past few games cheering you on. That's been a huge positive over the past few months. I'm sure you're looking for the same thing and again in the All-Ireland final, that, that kind of crowd to give you that extra boost. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, we said when we were in the National League, we, we really wanted to win the semi-final, mostly so that we could get our friends and family and our parents and um, back in to, to watch us and see us play, um, which was a big kind of goal for us this year, was to get to games where our parents could come and see us. And then obviously over the course of the Championship, our, our families have been being back and it's been great. You know, it adds so much to, to our experience they're so invested in in what we do and you know playing for playing for Dublin is is and can be all consuming playing for any county team is all consuming so there's a lot of people who make a lot of sacrifices on our behalf so it's really important that those people are there and we we've definitely been enjoying it so hopefully we can give them something to be proud of on the weekend